64 clones. What are they? Well, you can build yourself a clone using a Raspberry Pi or some other approach like a Windows computer or Mac computer and stuff it inside an original case. Anyway, the C64. This is the model with a working keyboard. And no, it's not called the Maxi or full size, it's just called the C64. Because, well, that's what they announced. Anyway, it's good. It's okay, it's not perfect. Just be sure to use one of those uh, DB9's uh, USB converters. That way you can get a more authentic uh, experience with original joysticks from the 1980s, 1990s. You know, a DB9 joystick, a digital one. Anyway, that is a good computer. It's not perfect. Another good clone is this. That's a 60 clone. And that is a one-to-one -one replica, clone, uh, copy, whatever, uh, version of the Commodore 64. Of course you need to, well, source original chips or you can use those few kind of chips they are, that are modern replicas, like the ARM SID, FPGA SID. Uh, I don't know, it's called TALP, the 8701 clone, it's a chip, um, I don't know, clock chip, I don't know, anyway, uh, they are SRAM uh, options, but basically it's as close as the original in a clone form factor. Oh. It's basically a real Commodore 64. That is a nice one. Or you can go with modern cards, boards. That is a Pulse 64. When I say Pulse, and I have my hand here, what does it remind you of? Well, if you're familiar with the alien world, then you know. If, you, if you're not, it's a motherboard, system board replica with the outlines of a pulse rifle from aliens. You know, you can call it Alien 2. <laughs> anyway, it's made in Germany and it's a clone, much like the 60 clone. In this case, it's the 469 board, you know, revision 250 469. Or can go even further. Yep, that's a, that's a Commodore 64 in ATX form factor. Same company, same maker. There is power connector, ATX power plug connector. It uses the same kind of slots as ISA. It's not ISA, but well, 
basically same connector type. The cartridge port is moved back. And the stackables. Stackable ports that goes right there. And there are two of them. This one and this one. And they all are meant to be stacked. And it's based on the 469 board as well. I'm so looking forward to to build these. Mm, looking at the two boards, they are highly professionally made. I, I really, <laughs> I really love them. The finish uh, of the boards, the quality, are so good. The only thing that I'm not so keen about. That is, it's it's not gold plated, but hey, for the price I paid, I can't really complain. But yeah, two new clone boards. So there's quite a lot of clones out there, and the company I bought them at, the web shop, they are. There are two more boards. One is Tube 64, that's stackable small boards, uh, disc circle, disc shaped, so it, 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 it looks like a tube. The other one is called Tuning Board, and that's a, that's a special one. It has room for three. Yep, not one, not two, but three SID chips. And it has a MIDI input output expansion board. Or well, it's well anyway, you can use it as a MIDI a triple SID synthesizer. Uh, that's that's neat. But I went with the ATX sixty four and the Pulse sixty four. So it, it's it's going to be fun building two more replicas, and then I have four. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to stop the video now. Um. Yeah, that's about it. Well, thank you for for looking at my video so far. Bye bye.